This is Gordon Alexander Tate reporting live from Bonaneros in Loch Ness, Scotland. The author, researcher and filmmaker James Patrick Parker has been missing for three days now and a handful of different search teams has been working around the clock trying to find out what might have happened to him. He was last seen right here where I'm standing now at a place called Bona Narrows that is located on the northern end of the lock. James Parker has been seen for the past couple of weeks by local fishermen and inhabitants of surrounding villages diving in and around this area with his boat, sonar and film equipment. The search has been extremely difficult due to harsh weather and bad wind condition. But the local rescue team has decided to extend the search for a few additional days, still in hope to find him alive. The water visibility here is exceptionally low due to a high peat content in the surrounding soil. Peat is a form of decayed vegetation that forms in wetlands, moors, swamps and lakes. What we have gathered so far is that this was James Parker's fourth visit to this area this past year for gathering information about the Loch Ness Monster and the mysteries of this deep dark lake. According to sources, he was investigating the underground connection of all nearby lakes and how they're connected underneath the Earth's surface. Apparently, James Parker has a theory of how they all jointly connect together, as well with the Atlantic Ocean. Loch Ness is well known for being a very deep lake. Measuring a staggering 230 meters or 750 feet at its deepest part. That is deeper than two football fields put together. According to close friends of James Parker, he was obsessed with the Loch Ness Monster and the lake. And he was working on a book as well as a film script on the subject. Recently, there have also been a handful of alleged sightings of the Loch Ness Monster, also known affectionately as Nessie. The scientific community regards the Loch Ness Monster as a modern-day myth and explains the sightings as a mix of hoaxes and wishful thinking. To some people, the Loch Ness Monster is just a myth and a folklore. But to James Parker and many others with him, Nessie is very much real and much more than a simple tourist attraction. The fact still remains that the most recent unsolved mystery is that author, researcher and filmmaker James Parker is still missing. This is Gordon Alexander Tate reporting live from Bonaneros Loch Ness in Scotland.